So everyone, you actually join me right now. What you can see to the right of me is Bista Village, where I've just dropped off some family right now so they can go shopping and everything like that. While I go pick up a new part for the day. So this is gonna be a good start to an awesome day. Look at how pretty Bista is, man. Ooh, there's a nice uh, E92 M3 coming up behind me, looks modified. Look at that E92 man, looks good. Close the windows up a little bit. Damn it, it's hot today though. It's like 25 or something degrees and I'm fasting still. So woo -wee. boiling. But basically guys, as you might be able to tell from the title, I'm not even sure what's in the title right now. I haven't decided what the title's gonna be. Um, gonna go pick up a new gearbox it's a gearbox from an e36 m3 evo so it's a six speed and yeah it's just gonna be very 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 different um, I've thrown the idea around a couple of my friends and everyone's just like damn okay an m52 with a six speed gearbox that's gonna be something different so I'm not even 100% sure what prop shaft I need or like you know what everything else is going to be but i'm going to basically tailor it to fit around this gearbox for the time being you know i was offered the engine for a very good price but it needs a little bit too much work that i can't take it on right now um you know ideally if i could i would but i just can't but yeah so let's carry on with picking up the the gearbox Literally, this place is absolutely beautiful. Look at the way some of the houses are, it's so nice. This is so pretty, I wish I didn't have to come in this car and I could take a nice photo next to all this, but... Wow. Right, so I just picked up the gearbox now, so it's in the boot. If you hear a loud thud or anything like that, whoops! <laughs> but oh my god, the weather is beautiful today. This is such a beautiful place, man. I am literally so buying car parts and buying all these things and going to all these places is just as much of an experience as actually building the car because some of the roads and places that I've been going to are just absolutely breathtaking. You know, going to pick up the engine, going up to the Peak District and things like that. I wouldn't have been doing all these things right now uh, if I wasn't buying all these car parts. So that's awesome. I want to stop recording because it's going to get windy and I don't want to close the window. It's too hot and the AC doesn't work on this car. So yeah, let's carry on. Right everyone, so the last part of the video that you just saw was actually a couple of days ago. It was me going to pick up um, the new gearbox, which I'm going to show you a clip of right now. This by the way everyone is the 6 speed gearbox. So it looks very much the same as the SMG does, but the SMG has loads of hydraulic lines and things like that that are going around it on the sides. Um, and I'll show you the other parts that I got with it. So there's the linkage right there, there's the mount and there's the front part of the prop shaft. Uh, I'm not sure if I can use the mount, I'm not sure if I can use the prop shaft, I'm not sure if I can use the shifter, um, but about to find out the hardware basically. So yeah, picked up a 6 speed gearbox from an E36 M3 Evo. Um, you know, got a really good price, got the linkage and everything like that. Um, so, got the prop as well, which is another rare part. So, I'm very happy with that. I think the car is going to be so different with that on. Um, you know, it's not really a common thing. It's a very strong gearbox as well. So, if I do look at more power in the future, then it'll support all of that. That's basically here. Um, figuring out what prop shaft I need to use or what second part of the prop shaft I need to use. Um, then I'm going to be figuring out what differential I want to be using because um, obviously you want the diff and the gearbox ratio to all match nicely. At the moment, basically, I'm actually on my way over to Gloucester. Um, over in Gloucester because I'm going to be picking up some air cups. 
so air cups are oh man what a, what a moment for it to start raining if you guys start hearing rain then i apologize because the car being well it's going to be very low when i'm actually finished with it all air cups basically work in a way where it's going to just lift up the front end a little bit whenever you try to go over a bump or something like that so i think it's going to be a brilliant addition to the car um, it's going to be something again slightly different it's not going to have airbags where the car will feel wallowy or anything like that. I'm still going to get some coilovers. And yeah, it's, it's, it's literally just going to be the best of both worlds. It's going to be kind of more like a modern day Ferrari or something like that. Along with that, I've also ordered a load of other bits and pieces. Um, E36 um, front hubs and everything. The whole conversion for 5 lug, um, 5 lug nut conversion coming through. Um, that's coming all the way from Liverpool. That's coming from post it's also got the z3 rear trail arms and things like that so that's all going to be um, five lug as well going to be getting an e36 front brake calipers and discs fitted onto the car as well so that's going to be a nice all-rounder so there's a lot basically being bought for the car there's a lot happening with the car right now so it is very exciting so let's go pick this up right now and i'll pick up with you guys in a second That's the first time I've actually seen a GT86 get floored. That sounded good. So you ask much the haircut and everything like that. Oh, and I got shades on now because it is becoming a sunnier day. British weather always changes on you. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna talk while I'm filming this time now. So, do you wanna be in it? Do you wanna? I don't mind if you get it. Yeah, okay, wait. <laughs> That's. Crap, I've got your name, Abby. Abby. Yeah, there you go. This is Abby, who I'm buying the air cups from, yeah. which are somewhere over there. But this is her E36 318 IS project car. So, she's got a lot going on with it. Um, I'm looking a bit sorry for itself right now. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm figuring <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to edit that slightly if it kind That's of funny. come across really weird <laughs> but I kind of, I was zooming up <laughs> but then it went down and I was like crap oops um, should have given it a clean really before you came nah it's, it, it's a project car you gotta keep it dirty and yeah. everything like that but so you're planning to fix the rust and everything like that on it get and, the sills welded uh, so okay yeah as you were saying yeah weld all the sills get them replaced Hopefully a new roof spray at some point, but change all the suspension over. Like new coilovers, new lower arms, discs. Do you know which coilovers you're looking at? Something off Driftworks I want to get. Okay. Like, they're amazing. Like, they've helped me a lot with the air cups and information. So yeah, I'd probably go to them. They seem really good rather than, you know, going for the usual like eBay. Yeah, but no, yeah, no, no, no. That, that's that's good. HS... HSD. HSD. HSDs are good. Whatever. Yeah, they're meant to be pretty good. Well, yeah, I haven't decided yet. Yeah, no, I'd recommend HSDs. I've got them on my R34, so. It's got an R34, is not it? Yeah, I, I'm. How many cars I'm, you have? <laughs> I shouldn't have so many budget cars, but yeah, that's that's the life. They have the biggest toy store ever in here, man. This is madness. This is all cars, the kids' toys on the side. Ooh, look at all these. And that's basically me done and dusted up over here in Gloucester so I'm gonna be heading back now which is gonna be a fun hours drive um, and then I'm gonna actually quickly race over to Euro car parks make sure you guys all go and check out Abby's Instagram page give her a follow um, she's fairly new into the car scene she's only 21 years old and she's got her E36 and everything like that she's got a Mitsubishi Colt as well 
Um, but you know, she's got good aspirations in the whole scene. And her car is a what a wicked place to start from. A 318 IS, I absolutely love those cars. But yeah, make sure you give her a follow, check out her build. Um, she's going to be doing a fair amount of stuff to that car, so it'd be nice to watch it all. You know, I actually got to Abby's place at one o'clock, and it is now well, I left a little while ago, but it left around quarter past three. We were literally just talking about her car and everything like that, talking about my cars, um, just talking about everything. So, yeah, you know, she's a really cool girl. Um, I'm definitely someone to give a follow, 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 follow. Um, but yeah, right, let's carry on with everything else I gotta do today. Ooh, my arms are looking kind of hench still. Uh, I need to work out some more. All right, catch you guys in a second. Are you all ready for this? Cause uh, I don't think you guys are ready for this. Like, uh, uh, oh. So after just collecting the last couple of pieces, that is everything that's gonna be happening over the next few weeks with the car. Near enough. In fact, it might be a couple of months, but yeah. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you want to say anything. Hit that bell notification to be up to date with everything that's going to be happening with my cars, not just car. And we'll catch up in the future. Make sure you um, give uh, Abby a follow as well on Instagram. All right, guys, catch you later. Peace out.